Yo, prospect. I hear Dog's familiar twang hollering at me across the lot as I roll my bike to a stop. Hey, man. I park in the spot designated for prospects, even though at the moment I'm the only one. I give Dog a chin lift, returning his welcome. Of all the guys, Dog has been the most welcoming besides Morris. Morris helped me, I helped Morris, and through it all we ended up earning each other's respect, even becoming friends. When the dust settled with his old lady Alice, I had a job, became a prospect with a club, and had a new roommate in Leah. Leah. I shake my head to clear the fuck fog that woman left me in. Thank God I have about an hour's worth of shit to do here before my meeting with her dad. Sporting a semi while in a sit-down with Tiny would be the fastest way to get the prospect patch ripped right off my vest, not to mention a punch to the throat, or even worse. I follow Dog into the club where Midge and Sadie are standing in the kitchen drinking coffee, gossiping like they always do. Hey, gorgeous, Sadie says, tossing me her signature smirk. And Dog? Sadie is what the guys call a club whore. I'd never refer to her that way, but she sure has made the rounds with most of them. She's got a good 15 years on me. Or maybe she just looks that way? It's hard to tell and I don't ask. I learned months ago not to encourage Sadie unless I wanted to find her naked on my doorstep one day. And I sure as fuck don't want that. Morning, I say, keeping any inflection that could be construed as flirting out of my voice. Midge, I say, nodding. Baby biker's here. Midge says, giving me a wink. The toilets are gonna be scrubbed real good this morning. If Sadie's a club whore, Midge is like the club grandma and was in Sadie's place years earlier. She's got a face like deflated walnut, but her heart's mostly in the right place. Her specialties are making shitty casseroles and putting up with our crap. But she's part of the club, which means she's family. I know she banged her share of bikers in her day, but now she mostly cooks for the guys and gets paid to do some light cleaning and the shopping. Baby biker, I laugh. Midge, I would never take toilet duty off your hands. I'm gonna leave that crap to you today. Midge raises a brow at me and pours a dash of something that smells like vanilla into her coffee. Not today, sweet lips. Your list of shit to do today means Midge gets the day off. I might even get me a mani-pedi while your elbow's deep in Tiny's toilet. Sadie crows and cracks up while Dog shakes his head with a grin on his face. I almost never get hazed anymore, but as a prospect, fuck. Everyone makes sure I feel the pain of being at the bottom of the proverbial totem pole. Having an older brother, I'm used to being shit on and getting leftovers and hand-me-downs, but prospecting an MC is next level. Tim, my brother, is the reason I know Morris at all. My older brother's love affair with pills, and God only knows what else, nearly cost me everything. Thanks to Tim, the building we lost was bought by the club, and Morris hired me back to work at the same auto shop my family used to own. So while Tim cost us the building, I have a job and didn't lose the house, so I pretty much owe my life to Morris and the club. But I don't feel as if I'm in anybody's debt. Being a prospect is a formality. This is my new family, and I've never been more grateful to have some place to belong, someone to belong to. Doing what I do around this place can take up a lot of time, but it's time I want to give. I wish I didn't have to keep any secrets from my brothers. I only have one secret. But if anything had the potential to get my ass tossed to the curb, fucking the club president's daughter would definitely be the thing to do it. Keep it in your pants, ladies, Dog barks. Prospect's not here to play. I wink at Midge and take the cup of coffee she prepared for me. I nod my thanks to her before a grunt pulls my attention. If I wasn't moving my ass before, I am now. Leah's dad, Tiny, a man whose name is the definition of irony, clamps a hand on my shoulder. Move your ass, kid. You got shit to do, he says, no softness in his voice. I'm on it, I assure him. I know the drill. Normally, I'd have an hour of work to do around the club, but today, something else is up. Tiny texted me last night and told me to make sure I met up with him before I left the club to go to my job at the repair shop. While I would have loved to spend another hour in bed with Leah this morning, Time at the club is something I'd never give up. I've been spending at least an hour a day at the club, seven days a week. There's no set schedule or written in stone expectations for a prospect, but the goal of prospecting is simple. Build trust. Prove your loyalty. Get to know your club brothers better than you know yourself. Anticipate the needs of the club and fill them.